Welcome to optical communication playlist. Here in this session, I will be going to explain OTDR. So, this is optical time domain reflectometer and by using this device, we can have a measurement of attenuation as well as fold in fiber. So, to have measurement of fold in fiber, to find position of fiber fold in fiber position, we use OTDR and to explain this, we have these outlines where first I will cover basics of OTDR, then we will see block diagram of OTDR, then I will explain you operation of OTDR, then we will see OTDR display, then I will explain you how fiber fold location is been traced by OTDR, then we will see OTDR dead zone. And at the end, I will sum up this session with attenuation measurement by OTDR. So, let us begin this session with first point that is basics of OTDR. Now, see as I have told you, OTDR that is optical time domain reflectometer. So, it is an optical electronics instrument and that is used to measure characteristic of optical fiber. It gives idea about abnormality or folds in optical cable. It is also used to measure the signal attenuation passing through optical cable as well as to measure the length of cable under test. So, usually we use OTDR to find fold position as well as it is used to find length of the cable. So, idea behind OTDR is to have a measurement based on reflected signal. So, that I will show you in block diagram like see this is the basic block diagram of OTDR where here at input side we use OTDR laser where we send laser pulses. Now those laser pulses that will be transmitted by using optical circulator in optical fiber. So here we have optical circulator this laser pulses that is transmitted inside fiber by using laser circulator. Now, because of scattering in optical cable, some of the light will get scattered back and that scattered light that we will be translating over here in photo detector. So, photo detector will detect scattered reflected light and based on scattered reflected light we will be identifying what is the position of fold and how much fold is happening. So, different categories of folds that I will show you in display. So, this is the basic working phenomenon. Like see here OTDR laser that will send laser pulses and this circulator will give this input to this optical fiber under test and reflected signal that will be given to photo detector by the circulator. So, circulator will circulate signal in this clockwise direction. So, input will go over here and reflected signal will come here and this photo detector will detect the signal and that will be given to signal processor and on display we will observe what is the position of fold and what category of fold is happening. So, the basic operation of OTDR is to measure reflected signal and based on that we identify what is the position of fold. So, if there are discontinuities in optical cable then scattering of light will take place. Especially whenever there is a change in refractive index then light passing through optical cable will get scattered. Some of the scattered light will move towards source that means in backward direction and that is referred as back scattering light. OTDR uses this back scattered light to make its measurement. A pulsating laser operate generates optical pulses and using optical circulator or a directional coupler these pulses are passing through cable. In optical cable due to various reason scattering of light take place and again optical circulator will circulate that back scattered light and it will give it to optical detector. And using signal processing, this signal is 
converted into pop proper form for display. So, you can see here OTDR laser will generate pulses that will be circulated to antenna, uh, optical fiber under test and the reflected signal because of scattering will circulate it will be circulated to photo detector and that will be given to signal processing and based on signal processing we will see what type of fault is happening. So, this is the basic operation of OTDR. Now, let us see how OTDR display is there. So, see on y axis you can see there is optical attenuation in terms of dv and on x axis you can see there is length of fiber. So, on x axis there is fiber length and on y axis there is attenuation. Now, see from here with respect to x axis we give signal. So, as signal is given from here strength of the signal will be maximum over here and as you move towards further distance your signal strength will decrease. So, you can see as you increase distance overall signal strength means attenuation is increasing. So, signal strength will decrease. So, you can see by this slope signal strength is decreasing, but when we see this signal strength you can see initially there is a reflective event front connector. So, initially there will be maximum reflection and that will be due to front ref front connector which we are connecting. So, you will be finding initially there is a big spike and then signal is decreasing gradually and if little more change is there. So, that change will justify what type of fault is happening. Like see over here you can see there is little big change. So, slope is increasing for this amount of length. So, it shows different type of faults. Here because of fusion splice there is this attenuation which is happening. Then again further as you increase distance this length attenuation that is having lower slope you can see, but again there is little adrop slice uh, adrop slope. So, it indicates see there is non reflective event because of macro bending. So, here I have given some examples like this slope that shows you macro bending this slope that shows you fusion slice. Now, again when we move further you can see over here there is big adrop change. So, that shows reflective event because of connector or mechanical slice and again over here you can see very big slope change is happening. So, that is because of fiber break or something like that. So, as fiber break is happening you cannot have proper data for further mono distance. So, this is how we can have a tracing of data with respect to distance using reflected signal. So, in OTDR all we do is we use reflected signal and based on reflected signal we see how much amount of reflection is happening and based on that we try to identify what type of fault is happening in optical fiber. So, here two things can be done one is to have a calculation of slope and second is to have a calculation of fault. So, this is how OTDR display is there. Now, fiber fold location. So, when we apply laser pulses reflected signal that we measure and based on time difference in between two pulses denoted by T we calculate distance from the fold and that distance from the fold is CT divided by 2 N. C is velocity of light, T is time difference in between transmitted and reflected signal and 2 because of distance is happening in forward as well as reflected direction. So, 2 n where n is core refractive index. So, this is how we calculate total distance from the break point 
and based on strength of reflected signal we can say how much amount of attenuation is happening. OTDR dead zone. Now see as initially there will be a big spike when we use OTDR at initial distance you will be finding there will be big spike. So what does that big spike indicates? So that big spike indicates sometimes you cannot have measurement of what type of fault is happening and that non-measurable fault is referred as OTDR dead zone. Like see here you can see a big spike is happening where in initial spike is having even dead zone and further slope explains you attenuation dead zone where recovery is happening. So this big spike will not allow us to have a measurement of attenuation. So whenever there is a strong back reflection from optical cable then photo detector will measure it and due to this time period if any other back reflection is happening in that case photo detector cannot measure it. So this con concept is called as OTDR dead zone. So in OTDR dead zone we cannot have proper measurement of fold. Now see attenuation measurement by OTDR so that we have already seen in that uh, OTDR display where how it measures it measures based on reflected signal. So the display of OTDR measures distance with respect to loss. You can take two markers place it at one position and place it at second position and see how much loss is happening and you can calculate how much distance is that and based on that by taking a ratio of loss with respect to distance we can say this much amount of attenuation is happening. So all these things that we can have by using OTDR I hope that you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future. I will make videos which will solve all those queries which is which has to be solved on this channel so that one can easily learn and they can understand engineering subjects clearly. Thank you so much for watching this video.